One of the things that is very much a part of us all the time and is directly related to our sense of well-being is our relationships with others. And I want to start with a little story. When I was in a, I was in a class in my bachelor's degree, um, I was planning to be in, I was planning to be a family financial planner. That's where I was planning to end up as one of my bouncing around different d majors. Um, and I, so I had to take this class. I don't even remember what the name of the class was, but it was a lady who taught this class who, um, she was a, um, she, was, she called herself an expert on family relations and family relationships. And, and I don't remember anything of this class except she put up this diagram and uh, she said, this is how things are. And she studied the, you know, the, our culture, the United States culture, and um, how things are relationship-wise. And she said, the trend kind of looks like this. If you have, and this is, and I know there's variations of this, but I'm going to go with um, male and female. She said, this is how it kind of looks in our culture today. Um, where you, you have um, two people who, and this, this line is the degree of oneness or closeness. And this could be any other kind of relationship, but I'll just use this one for today's conversation. Um, in a typical relationship, these lines start coming together as, so they'll meet, they start dating, um, they start getting exclusive dating. Um, at some point, and, and as they do this, their closeness gets closer. At some point, they decide we're going to get engaged. Um, and then they get married. And at that point, these two lines kind of are, in most cases, pretty close together. And this is horrible art. But this, these lines are quite close. Um, just out of curiosity, is it, do we have anyone in here who's in this category? You are? A couple of us. Do we have anyone who's here? Any engaged? Forever? So this is still down the road a bit. When are you getting married? When are you getting married? Really? You don't have any idea when you are? Well, we've been together for 10 years. Don't know that it's going to happen this year. OK. But you're engaged nonetheless. Yeah. So you're kind of exclusive and engaged. Yeah. OK. So she said, this is how things work as far as oneness. In other words, um, the closeness that each of the two feels toward the other is very, becomes very, very close. And for a while, after they're married, they go through this honeymoon phase that usually lasts, she said, lasts about a couple of years. Is anyone in that place right there? Some of us are. Um, and she said, this is one of the happiest times of most people's lives. Um, just all things considered, there, people seem to be the happiest during this little phase right here, like here to here. 